this quarter of an acre piece of land that sits where Sprague and Riverside meet is going to the dogs. He said, that's a good boy. Tyler Jackson works in downtown Spokane. He brings his dog Roger with him every Thursday. Roger Bo Jackson, named after the famous Bo Jackson. He tags along with the weekly office running club. It has a chance for him to come in and hang out and get a walk in downtown. They spent their walk today on the islands along Riverside, but soon Roger will have a bit more space to roam, sniff and play. It's hard because there's not a lot of areas downtown to you know, let your dog out if you bring him down and work. And I see a lot of dogs downtown more so these days, and so it'll be really nice to have one right here. Marlene Feist with the city of Spokane says this is the first dog park in an urban setting in Spokane. It's meant to serve people with dogs who live in the many residential buildings in the area. This is really very exciting. Kate Patton created the Downtown Dog Park Facebook group in anticipation of the park's opening. We walk by one another all the time walking our dogs downtown and you know we rarely get to talk and now with a park here we should be able to you know have a little more interaction. She lives in Brown's Edition and is looking forward to bringing Alfie here to play. Can I have that? We may expect to see more dog parks like this. Spokane Parks and Recreation plans to launch a fundraising project later this year to build a dog park in Riverfront Park. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.